nothing short of inspired hearing about all that Nancy has done with the 52nd Street Project over the past 35 years. I mean, I knew that this is a woman who can do it all. But since she started with the project, she's been a playwright, a director, an actor, a gala host, a dramaturge. Yes, I know some people say dramaturge, but that sounds kind of gross to me. It sounds a little too close to drama. You know, which is the opposite of what Nancy has given to the project. <laughs> On CBS Sunday Morning, she has done it all for many years as well. She's sung It's a Small World with Richard Sherman. She sang some Streisand classics with Alan and Marilyn Bergman. For that, I was really jealous. She got to meet all of Broadway's Annie's. Um, her commentaries, they're classics, from the funny to the incisive, always thoughtful. One thing she hasn't done on TV, though, is played a lollipop. You can't do that on TV. You can do that at the 52nd Street Project. Um, recently, I watched a piece that CBS Sunday Morning did about the 52nd Street Project many years ago, and the point was made that one of the things that's so special about it is it's a place where adults take kids seriously, um, where they really listen to kids. And Nancy is one of the great observers, listeners to the world all around us. Um, her warmth, her humor, that Stradivarius-like voice, um, she is a real gift. Um, by the way, if you're wondering about this necklace, um, it's coral. Um, and 35, the 35th anniversary, is the coral anniversary. So I asked my mother if I could wear this in honor of Nancy. Everything I did with coral was in the 50s when I think that was okay. So for my mother and me to Nancy, we love you, thank you, congratulations, and here's to a 